So loud. Hold on a sec. Okay. Hi everyone. Oh, welcome back to the stream. I am back with Cursed Mountain. I'm gonna gonna get through it. <laughs> I hope it gets a little bit inter more interesting, but I started it, I'm gonna finish it. Yo! So. Let's see. I'm trying to remember the controls. Okay. Oh, yeah, the ghost arms. Okay. <clears throat> Are you going to disappear, or...? Oh. Hurry up and disappear! Flashbacks here with this. Stay with us. Okay. Woo. Hello, Stellar J. How you doing? Hold. Why is the music still super loud? Turn this down. Okay. Oh, great. I'm just gonna keep running. Fuck! I don't get super lost like I did yesterday. Well, I wasn't lost, more like I couldn't find my way through the level. <laughs> uh. How are you guys doing tonight? Have a good day at work, school, whatever. impressed so far it's it's very awkward to play and the story is a little meh so far are you a fan of this game 
yeah, I had always wanted to play it on Switch as, um, sorry, uh, Wii as well, and I just never ended up getting it, and then I was told it was on PC, so I'm like, oh, I should try to stream it then. And it's not as good as I was hoping. <laughs> Uh, what game did you play on, on Switch, uh, Jay? I just keep getting lots of incense sticks. So what's going on? like a vulture. Oh. Oh, maybe I have to go over here. Get all of them activated. Maybe it'll do something. That's a bummer. Please be like right before I started that fight. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. I, th I thought I had to go buy, buy the arms again. Okay, let's uh, make sure I heal myself before I start this fight. Might be a good idea. You didn't even heal me all the way. Hold on a second. Heal me all the way. Ah, good enough. Whew. Pokemon and Deadly Premonition. Cool. Oh, 
be right behind me, of course you are. it away. Okay. Cool. I survived. <sighs> Where's the... There it is. I don't know why the bird was mad at me. I mean, I understood that the old lady was mad at me because my brother did something stupid. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not very, uh, it's not even threatening <laughs> by uh, 2009 standards. I thought, I don't know, I just had a feeling it'd be a little bit more atmospheric because you're supposed to be on a mountain, no seeking snow, be hard to see. Um, it's all kind of samey right now. Hey, Kyrie, how you doing? I just defeated a big bird. Oh, it's not the way to go. All the areas I've been to so far have been very uh, sparse and gray. Nothing really too interesting so far. boss battle so that was a bit exciting I got by the hands and then I fought big bird yeah this this game has a lot of browns and stuff for being on a, a really cold mountain it was never easy for Frank to be Eric Simmons little brother started in school carried on when he started to climb everyone compared him to me well stop being so damn perfect Eric jeez that's so hard My life's going down. Oh no, what? Let's... game has uh, multiple endings. Like if you choose to uh, just axe all your your foes or if you do the ritual thing to give them a peaceful send-off. Um, I, I did die once but it was because my life was already halfway down and that bird can take up a lot once it hits you once. But no, it wasn't that difficult. Surprisingly. I just wish it stop competing with me. He's brilliant enough on his own. I mean, it just, it was the usual. Oh, wait, wait, what? So I have to climb up to keep going? Doing some actual mountain climbing now. I've not actually seen any footage from the original, so it, it does look better. I've been told it must be. 
making the symbols is a lot easier with the mouse than Maybe the I was too hot Wii controller. Pushed him too much. I only wanted what was best. But maybe I just did everything wrong. Hey, Eric, it's not your fault that he did it with some goddess lady who pissed off people. of the fire again well maybe he should stop doing stupid shit just a thought textures. Hmm. I remember what first uh, intrigued me, I, I saw this game, I think I saw it in a GameStop around uh, 2010. I was like, oh, there's another scary game for the Wii, I'll have to check it out. And then I just never did. And the cover kind of intrigued me. seen many people talk about the game but now that I'm playing it I can I can kind of understand why it's it's kind of lackluster so far in terms of like enemy designs and the environments Yeah, it's the Himalayas. I mean, that's, that's part of what kind of intrigued me to is try it out. I was like, oh, you know, I've never, I've never seen uh, a horror game set. I mean, I've seen adventure games set in the Himalayas, but never a horror game. That's really interesting, you know. And. Uh, No, that was pretty funny. I forgot the Maybe bird. Maybe if we flew both come away. through this alive, things will be different between Frank and me. We could be friends again. I don't know, or maybe you'll be really pissed off at him for putting you in this situation in the first place. And all the random. Oh, it's gonna be fixed camera now. So now you gotta. Jerku village? Okay. He's dead. Hello, ghost. How you doing? That's not cool. See the ghosts. I can't. There we go. 
this is the nice screenshot right here. I think you got the screenshot for video number two. Okay. Oh, I'm so bad at keyboard controls. ass earlier. It was on the spike. Cool. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, there it is. What did I get? Uh, uh, come on. Uh, empowerment that transformed the Kartrika? into a terrible tool for cutting and for piercing through spiritual obstructions. So I think this goes on my axe thing. Cool. What up, old lady? Tried I'm to ready kill for me. this time. The bird can kill me. Some kind of ritual. Huge birds coming. Cutting begins. Caught in the bird. Goddess is undecided. Well, she wanted your blood. And, and you failed at doing that? That's it then. Sounds like I'm in for some hard knocks. But if the goddess is still undecided, there's hope for Frank. Presuming I haven't gone stark raving mad. I like how he just walks away. He's like, well, okay. Uh, climb his log. 18,200 feet. I'm in the terraced fields above Chiaku, heading for Nien Di Ki Book Monastery. I'm hoping to find Nien Lama Tot Pa up there. Book Monastery. Meanwhile, the valley below is covered in mist. Hard to believe that everyone down there is dead. Hey, we're now we're now in uh, Silent Hill in the mountains finally with the fog. All right, let's see. Oh, 
god, I can't cross this. Are you serious? What happened to your parkour skills? I'm a rugged mountain climber, except when it comes to little streams and little obstructions. Then I'm helpless and have to find a way around. Ooh. Poor yak. Is there a way in this house? Can I break boxes? I can't remember. Nope. Is this your house? I'm sorry, bro. Villager writes that they are desperate enough to try a secret tantric ritual that has been used for over 200 years. Wait, let's do that. Okay, ever since the Westerner went up to the Sacred One, the day has been filled with darkness. A curse has blighted our valley. In the village, people started to see ghosts, and soon afterwards, the deaths began. Such terrible pain, such cries of agony, we cannot run away. There is nowhere we can hide. The ghosts enter even the most protected houses. Our mantras are too weak. All we can do is wait, wait pray, and die. Then what? Bennett was able to protect his house. Mm, no, that's not what I wanted. Was that the... Oh, okay, this is a secret ritual. Uh, preparations have begun. All we need now is to find the offering. I pray we can do this before the ghost kills us all. Well, I guess that didn't work. Man, poor people. Frank couldn't keep it in his pants and they're suffering for it. Oh, wait. Oh, did I like bypass the door in there? I must have. Oops. Yeah, right there, Whitney. How could you miss it? Ghost gonna pop out? Oh, do I climb? Maybe I climb. Mm. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Close call. Oh. We weren't even we weren't even near there though. I mean, they could have waited until you were actually stepping on that path. I think it would have been a little bit... Can I... Okay, climb over it. Oh, I forgot you can't go over little obstacles. Okay. Do I climb the wall? No? Hmm. All blocked off. <sighs> oh, wait, no. So that's the house I came from. So I guess I have to go down.
Oh, never mind. I have hardest most is to figure out where the game actually wants me to go because it gets very persnickety about the way you have to reach things. Alright, go in here. People are poor, but they still have beautiful thun thunkas? Thun no, I probably butchered that. Ooh, diary note written by Frank. Let's see what he has to say. Jomo Menmo. Uh, now there's a crazy old bat. You're telling me, Frank. She stinks like a yak, and she's always muttering and giving you the evil eye. The people around here must be simple to listen to her. Maybe when I retire, I'll become a witch doctor. Boogity boogity. Yeah, Dick, you sound like a dick, Frank. <laughs> no wonder the goddess is mad at you. <laughs> making fun of their culture, making fun of the people they listen to. Hands don't come out and push me over. <laughs> Oh, this is where I came from. Just 
just looking at the gate gives me the shivers as if I couldn't enter the shouldn't enter the village. I'm getting as superstitious as the Sherpas. Well, I mean, you've been fighting gods and ghosts. It's kind of understandable if you'd be a little bit hesitant. Do a quick turn. I should look that up. Ooh, hello. The dark jader jader and the bardo secret ritual that will close the rift in the bardo don't understand why it doesn't just open the note for me and i have to go looking for it in my inventory oh for me the dark a uh, Jator ritual will close the gate to the bardo that was ripped open by the curse. It is the ultimate offering to the suffering spirits that plague our valley. We will perform it with the highest compassion. We will use only the proper ritual tools such as the to Topa hammer that crushes the bones of ignorance and smooths the path to enlightenment. Okay that didn't work except for a white guy with an axe to solve your problem a mystical ice axe I should say and cut it open.
actually I'm gonna look it up. I'm really curious. Let's see. Curse Mountain. First mountain metacritic. Let's see. Oh, it has a user score of 7.4 from 36 ratings and a meta score of 67 with 51 reviews. Let's see. Um, the highest it got was from the official Nintendo Magazine UK. A great setting and lots of top shocks. Curse Mountain is chilling in every sense. October 2009 and then game critics said it gave it an 80 despite those issues there's no question that Curse Mountain is not only one of the finest titles currently available for the Wii it's a welcome de oops it's a welcome detour from the well-worn survival horror path that so many developers seem only too happy to tread and then let's see what's the lowest Lowest it got is, oh, it got a lot of positive reviews from all these Nintendo sites, like 80s and, and uh, 75s. So let's see, what's the lowest? The lowest it got was from Game Player Sweden, who gave it 30. Curse Mountain is awfully ugly, poorly designed, and almost unable to create any fear at all, making it a frighteningly bad horror game. I think I kind of agree with the game player Sweden. <laughs> yeah. Though, I gotta say, I really... Uh, um, my only other real horror game I've played on the Wii was Shattered Memories, and I, I think I still prefer that one over this one. Even if it wasn't even scary either, just because, I don't know, I found a little bit more... The story a little bit more interesting. Oh yeah, I love Downpour. Hi Hobo Joe, thank you for following! Uh, I, but it, uh, just from looking from all the reviews, it looks like it got mostly positive. So I guess it was really, really liked when it came out. Maybe it just doesn't really hold up nowadays. If I played it back in 2009, I would have been a little bit more impressed. I don't know. But so far, I don't find it that... I don't know. Scary? Oh, true. Maybe. Maybe it was the motion controls they were really into. Maybe it was fun doing the little ritual symbols with the Wiimote. Certainly a lot more fun than doing it with the mouse, I'm sure. Oh. The Yak Skulls are painted with ritual colors to protect the house from evil spirits. Right. Guess I gotta Oh, is there a ghost? See? Oh, there it is! There's one. Wow. Please missed it. Okay. What is what is this? Very old key, probably used to lock a door. <laughs> Thank you. I would never have guessed that a key was used to lock a door. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. I mean, the guy looks pretty. the The character model looks pretty decent for two thousand nine. Oh, you play with the motion controls? <laughs> it wasn't fun making the little ritual symbols, I take it. Okay, well, let's see if I can 
You know, I probably can't open the door yet. I need to figure out the symbol meanings. So let's check down here. First, oh wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, it is, okay. Let me see. Maybe they'll let me in now because I defeated that ghost. Oh. Uh, I did not pass a locked door yet. Well, excuse me, one that was locked with a key and not a curse, so. Huh. ever played the Kinect games? You guys had a Xbox 360? I had a I had a couple I had one I had one of the dance ones and did I have a I think I had a fit, fitness game thing too. They worked okay. I needed a bigger uh, bigger area though. Couldn't really move around too much in my living room. for dead you want to play did the, I, I think there was a an adventure game for connect uh, I think it was sort of like a, a Mario Party type of game though where you played it with friends so it was I guess it was a bunch of little mini games so I guess not not really an adventure game but I think you did little tasks and whatnot um, I, I think it was called adventure something it was, it was one of the first ones that, that came out with the, with the connect. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Um, maybe I have to go back down to find a... Oh, wait, can I go up here? Oh, no, this is just where the locked door is. Hmm... I have to go back down the hill. Oh, this is the worst part of this game. <laughs> Figuring out where I need to go to trigger what I need to open that door. Okay, let's see. Can't reach those areas yet. Is there a lock? Open that.
Wait, I don't want to keep going down. I did not miss the door. Where? Ugh. This level design suck. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Any locked doors down here? should not continue to go down, but I'm going to continue all the way and then work my way back up. Let's see, what's down there? This game was released in 2009 on the Wii, uh, and I'm playing this, uh, the PC port. I, I, it seems to have gotten a graphical upgrade, too. I think the I'm not sure if the PC port came out at the same time. Let's see. Um, Chris Mountain. Why is this guy going super slow? Come on. It came out for Windows, uh, 2010. Oh, wow! I'm on the wiki page and it says it was a collaborative development effort by 16 companies consisting of 236 people in 17 unique locations in 14 different countries. What? <laughs> That's so many people. You can oh. rest when you're dead. Wow. I would have thought the development team would have been much smaller. Okay. Um, I liked some parts of it. Yes, I, I thought it was very. Uh, I liked the atmosphere a lot. Um, I really liked Bullet, but I thought the combat was a little weird, and I, I thought the gameplay controls for just, like, accessing your menu and stuff was really kind of, uh, uh, uh seemed a little broken at times. The, the commands for a bullet worked really well, but for some reason, when I tried to open, like, I wanted to open up my radio or my phone, it always would take me a little bit to get the right thing selected. So that was a little annoying at times, and also the glitches I, I ran into where all of a sudden I couldn't access something I needed to progress through the story was a little frustrating at times. But I'm glad I played it. It was... It was interesting for sure. Okay, well, let's check the house again. Okay. Where am I supposed to go, game? I 
I sure did. <laughs> because I kept, I broke all the little um, stick things because because bullet didn't like them, and I killed all the little shadow things that attacked me. <laughs> oh, and I accidentally killed the sheriff in the house. So there was no way I was going to get the good ending. But a uh, bullet lived, so I was happy. I should have gone right back down the mountain. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, watch it be somewhere obvious and I just missed it completely. Seems like I spend more time in this game backtracking back and forth over the map trying to find the correct door to go through. Actually, I was also pleasantly surprised I didn't get too ill playing Blair Witch as well. I think because it was it was a little bit slower pace in terms of, of movement and whatnot. So I didn't I didn't get the queasy feeling I usually get. Forced, but the way the game is set up, uh, uh, you, excuse me, the, <coughs> the things that trigger the bad ending are things you just sort of assume you're going to have to do, like attack the creatures with the flashlight, um, destroy the stick things. So I, I, I think it would be really, really uh, hard for a first time player going in blind to to know that you're not supposed to do those things. Maybe, I guess, if you're a, a diehard Blair Witch fan and you, and you know that destroying destroying those little stick things uh, allows the witch to have more power over you or something, you, you might have an idea not to do that, but I think most people got the bad ending. Um, I know that you cannot there's something you can get in the uh, house, the little battery for the radio in the, um, I just lost what it's called, um, the structure I found in the beginning with the, with the lock on it, um, why can't I think of what it's called? Uh, that's what you won't be able to find out really Peter's, um, fate unless you play through it again I think at least that was the impression I got uh, have I played moons of madness I have not what uh what kind of game is that So I'm going to start trying to think of some other retro games I could play. I'm definitely going to look into getting Echo Knight uh, for PS1. I, I, I'm i still waiting. I know it's not really survival horror, but I really want to play Mazurna Falls. But there still hasn't been a, a, a real, like, a finalized English patch yet. Um, I'm thinking, even though I personally don't really like the game, 
that much. I thought it still might be fun to go through, just kind of make fun of it. Would be Clock Tower 2. Just since I did the Clock Tower 1 already. Mm. First person cosmic horror game. Is it on PC? I did uh, see something that Bob was saying he was streaming with the Scream team. This this indie game that was sort of a bunch of little scary demos that looked really interesting. I was thinking about getting that one. I still want to get... Uh, still want to play through Resident Evil Zero uh, 4 maybe five I don't know uh yeah I've never played the revelation ones so I thought that might be a fun thing I could also stream maybe if I can find a cheaper copy of Kuan maybe I could try that but that's kind of a, a pipe dream there that game is hell of expensive look it up I still have the the seventh guest in my library that FMV game I've never played it but I just remember when I was younger I, I would see the big PC box like in Babbage's or something and always was curious about what kind of game that was so I thought that might be fun to play through so if you guys ever have Suggestions, just just let me know and I'll look into it. I'm pretty much willing to play anything. Or at least give it a try. Oh yeah, I also want to do Parasite Eve and Parasite Eve 2. Um, those are those are gonna be longer games though. I'm thinking I might I should probably try to play through at least once just so I can remember and not wander around aimlessly not knowing where to go okay I don't know where I'm supposed to go do I do something with this bell can I To look up a guide. I don't know where to go. Unless there's a path I'm just not seeing. He can't hop over this, can he? No. Can't hop over the stream either. The Sinking City? No, I have not. Is that the one that's like Cthulhu or something? I think it was nominated for one of Verlion Horror's Game of the Year because I, I did their little graphic and I remember I had to look up The Sinking City. That might be a good one for me to, to, to play. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna look up where I need to go, cause, Jesus. <sighs> Let's see. First mountain. Let's see. 
And what am I? What? Uh... No, it doesn't tell me, does it? Very old key. Okay. Just give me a few minutes. Let me see if I can find where I'm supposed to go. Oh, let's save. Okay, vulture like flying creature. I did that. Little disturbed. Okay. Next hut's coast. We keep going. Cross a small river. Turn right over the stone bridge. Statue. I did that. Purify and kill the ghost. Did that. So, turn back. Did that. Very old key. Remember the first hut after the shrine that was locked? No. Down the slope. And over the river. And the, the key will now open the door. So, over the river, left, and back over it. Okay, so it must be... I checked all these little huts. Where? Okay. Here's where I got the statue. Said so to go over the river. Is there a back door I wasn't seeing? you guide guy oh well all right let's make our way back up to that locked red door please no what okay the hammer is it needed for the ritual Down below. 
Oh no, let me, let me look at the guide. Uh, Beautiful. Okay, now I've no, got to keep moving. Now I have to go over to the red door. Do I believe the rumor that Konami is working on a new Sonal games? Uh, no, well, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. If, uh, once I see something, actual confirmation, like a trailer or an announcement, I'm just going to believe it's a rumor until really then. I think maybe the movie's happening, given that um, Gans is actually talking about it. But for new games, uh, like I always joke, there was hope here, it's gone now. <laughs> it would be really cool. I I'd love to see another game, but yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna get my hopes up. This reminds me of Uncharted. <laughs> a ritual dagger used for certain tantric rit rituals. The triangle, triangular blade of the Kila symbolizes the severing of the three root poisons of ignorance, desire, and hatred. It also represents the mastery of the past, the present, and the future. We're doing this whether you like it or not. Come some more. guys. Thank God he's walking away. I'm like, I need to heal so badly. Oh, wait. If there oh. really is a curse. Oh, thank you. It's filling up my life a bit. Lift it. 
All right, let's go. Ah, hello. Uh, it's gotten slight. I fought a boss. I fought a f big flying bird. Um, I got lost for a little bit there. That was not fun. Um, I guess it's getting more interesting. We're finding out how much of a dick Frank is. I have not played Control yet. That has a connection to Alan Wake, right? I, uh, I have not even played Alan Wake either. So I've heard, I've heard good things about Control. A lot of people, for some reason, say it's kind of like Deadly Premonition, but... I'm not sure if they mean because it's janky or what. We already know lots of them already died, so I don't know if there's anybody left to die except you and Bennett. Maybe that one monk from the first place we were at. Oh, and the old lady who tried to kill us. Jim, Jamil, Nemo, whatever her name is. A vulture. Juma's prophecy. Big blades. Must be the dirt tro where the ritual is going to happen. Okay, let's get it started. Did I just get knocked out from behind? <laughs> Oh. 
Here we go. Stop, I'm still alive. I'm like, I think that's part of the ritual. A sacrifice. Eric. <laughs> I think it might be a key component there. compared to Deadly Premonition because it delves into the subgenre of weird fiction. It has its moments. Oh! I heard it's really fun to play, so I'm definitely interested in trying it out. Oh, I guess we're going up there. Cutting through ignorance. Primus log. 18,400 feet. I'm heading for the Nien Diki Book Monastery. It's so inspiring. Built right into the living rock. Since Bennett vanished, Jomo, that's Jomo it. Jomo Menlo was less than helpful. I can only hope that the monk Todd Pa is still alive in the monastery. Uh, you could open backpack with N and equip a weapon in the weapon screen. Oh, I have more than one weapon? <gasps> oh, I didn't even realize. <laughs> I didn't know I had more in special weapons here. Okay, wait, hold on. Alternately, the weapons can be switched up with mouse up and down. Oh, wheel. Okay. There we go. So, which one is... Let's do this one, because I think it, this is empowered. So that must be pretty strong. Okay, game, I, I got it. ceremonial thing because it also kind of heals me too. Hmm. I think I'm finally really getting a hang of the combat now. It's still a bit awkward with the mouse in terms of turning to see the enemies, but I think I'm doing okay. Better than I, th I thought I would be. <laughs> oh shoot, what? 
What did I do? What happened? I was not paying attention. Uh, <laughs> a second. Was that a quick time event that I just fucked up? Did I get more? No, I did not. So. Get it. Am I supposed to do something? Oh! There we go. It was a quick time event. <laughs> no, no statues. I'm still waiting for that pyramid head with the spear to come out. I was looking into getting some of the the brush kits I have to get put together. The NDK Book Monastery. Looks peaceful from here. But something's not right. I hope Todd Pa is still alive. Hope he doesn't try to kill me too. Everyone's been super mean. Because of my stupid brother. Can't keep it in his pants. But I did get something. I did get something cool. Um, I don't want to say what it was, but but one of my friends alerted it to me, and I'm really excited because it's a Silent Hill One promo item I've never seen before. A Japanese promo item. I'm really excited to to have added it to my collection. Waiting for it to arrive. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's my favorite type of items to find or promo stuff. Amy in her Etsy shop. She's been just coming out with loads of cool Silent Hill items. Uh, she just put out some um, replicas of the health drink bottles. And they look really cool. I, I ordered one of those today. And I also, uh, more, more recently, I, I got from her last week or the week before, uh, she made some ampules uh, bottles. So I bought one of those. And she included a she included a save triangle from Origins. It looks really good. I should hold on. Let me um let me drop her Etsy in the chat so you guys can take a look. It's really cool stuff here. Um, give me a second. Oh, and she also did. Uh, I got it through Redbubble. She made um lost memories and the Crimson uh, Ceremony books. And I got them printed, they're printed on a hardback. Uh, it's blank, and it's a blank journal, but it's from Red Bubble and, and it looks like the books from the game, which I thought was really neat too. Uh, let's see here. She's been putting out a lot of things lately. So here's all her Silent Hill stuff. Copy this. So if you're looking for like a unique Silent Hill item, or, you know, to give someone or get for your own collection, I highly recommend her stuff. Really great work. She's made some, uh, I think my favorite so far, she re she made a replica of the bull key from Silent Hill 2. I really like that one. And uh, so I'm looking over at this stuff. She also, I really liked, she made uh, some replicas of the colored plates from Silent Hill 1. I always need some more Silent Hill 1 stuff goodies in my collection, so I was very happy about those. Oh yeah, those aren't new. I've had those for a while. <laughs> I've had uh, only six months. Most uh, Some of them I've had for years, and others I gotten months ago and years ago. I've just been like, oh, you know, I should try to find someone to put them together. 
So I, I can't um, really do it. I mean, I, maybe if I tried, but I, I would want them to be put together nicely, and I've never done it before, so I'd rather hire someone to to do it. Yeah, I got, I got, uh, the twin victim, I got it back in 2015. I, I got more recently Maria and Lisa, uh, White Hunter and God from Silent Hill 3. I bought those from a fellow collector. He was, uh, I guess, making room for some other statues he wanted. Um, I kind of got bought those from him over like the last couple months last year. Um, off and on, he'd offer me something. Oh, and then I got, which I was really excited about. The same guy also ended up going to Japan last year, and he attended no, just stunned, uh, like... Wonderfest Winter, and he was able to get me um, the Mira. Uh, kit because the lady there had a booth so I was able to get that one too which I was really excited about because I couldn't it never popped up on Yahoo Japan and it's so freaking cute more um, retail statues were, would be made, but it doesn't look like they're going to make them. But maybe if, if the series gets a revival, we can get some more merch. Oh. got really busy. so hard for me to choose. <sighs> um, I guess I mean, the one they always kind of go back to, I'm looking at it, I, I really like my Silent Hill 1 cloth retail banner. That one's really a really unique item. I don't see, I think I only know of one other person who has it. It's a really unique item. I really like that one. Um, I love, love, love my my Heather statue, the one with her um, just in the vet, vest against the custom uh, tile wall with the bullet holes. I bought that off of a fellow collector, and I also really, really love my. Um, drawing block movie prop and my Robbies. I love all my, my plush Robbies, the plot props and the um, and the plush that Gaia Entertainment made a couple years back that looks just like the ones from the game. Yeah. Those are just some of my favorites. Um, oh, and, and the, the, the seal of Metatron a uh, prop recast that Paul Jones sent to me. I really, I mean, even though it's from Revelation, but it's still really cool. I really like it. Um, shoot. Uh, can I open in this with the key, or...? Okay. Nope. 
does he not have a flashlight? You think he'd bring a flashlight with him, but I guess not. Oh wait, this is how I came in, right? Whoops. door. It's locked. There we go. I've been getting a lot really excited lately because on the Reddit, the Silent Hill Reddit, a lot of people have been posting pictures of their collection or they just started. So it feels yeah, like a lot of people are getting into collecting Something it glittering. again, which is also, also good. <laughs> I like seeing what other people are able to find. I was getting a little bummed out because it seemed like uh, most of the people I, I would, you know, big collectors who would also collect with me, a lot of them kind of lost interest after Silent Hill's cancellation. So it's nice to see people getting into it again. That's why I really hope uh, the the movie happens or the game the interest in the series will go back up again get some new fans all good <laughs> well <laughs> they're kind of dead and stuff so uh, no one to clean it my dude Find this ladder. You know what I'm also kind of hoping? Um, since now Deadly Premonition is on Nintendo, it's a Nintendo. Uh, property type thing now, or at least it's on Switch, that there might be a chance that maybe York could appear in a Smash game and maybe, maybe even get an amiibo. That'd be so cool. I would love a York amiibo. Amiibo. Oh, that's a interesting little mask. I think that's his name, Eric. Hey, I guess I can't go in there. Um, Nothing in this room, I guess. Hey. the door now? One seal fragment. Okay. Did I... 
Miss a door? doors over here. Guess I missed something in other rooms. It's locked. Get over the body. Oops, let's see. Oh no, this is where I found the mask. That's blocked. Uh, let's see, maybe... Is there a door in that other place then? Honestly, I don't understand why you can't just step over that dead body. I knew the time we went to Vietnam and I got myself a really big pack of inset sticks. It turned out they had this really sharp smell, so lighting the- no. Oh no. <laughs> I can't say I'm a fan of just incense in general. Uh, my brother used to- oh! Here's a door. My brother used to like to, uh, light them, light them, but I just found the, the smell. I didn't really like them. Oh, it sounds like our ghost is in here. you don't buy them at temples because those ones are for religious purposes, hence the smell. What are your feelings towards the, the scented... Oh wait, that's the wrong way. How do you like the scented candles? Do you like those?
I'm trying to think the last time I lit an incense. It's probably in high school. Because that used to be really big. Um, Door isn't moving. Back then. There must be something else. Okay. What else do I need to do? Do I need to bang one of these things? Oh. Oh! Do I need to do them f okay? guy's name. I hope he's not gonna try to kill me. Oh god! Got some angry monks. Oh, whoa. He's like... guy.
I didn't know I could go over the same path twice. <sighs> That's quite <sighs> it. So where's Todd Pa? I don't know, but I hope he doesn't bite me. Bone statue of a holy llama? Probably a previous abbot of mon monastery. Oh. You're making kind of a weird face. Right? Oh, where are you, my dude? back at the other place, so hope she doesn't pop back up again. So let's see if I can find that guy, and then I will end it for tonight. Save, so it's like I'm probably near the dude. I think I need to light it all and then let's try this again. I think I'll just axe them instead of trying to do the spell thing. Save myself some time. These are my, my least favorite rooms just because you, know, you got the ghost, but then your life's gonna just tick down anyway because of I don't know why it just does. <sighs> Some kind of spell, I guess, in the room.
Okay. Oh, I want to see what the Frank note said. Here's one thing I don't understand. No one has ever sum summoned the Comolonzo. Shomo, I don't know how to pronounce it. They go as far as high camp, but never to the top. I can understand the Sherpas giving it a miss because of their daft bl Man, Frank, I, I really don't like you. Maybe I don't want to save you. You're such a little asshole. What about the rest of them? They do their Koras and their mumbo jumbo rituals all just to make some pilgrimage. What's the point of climbing if you're not going to go all the way to the top? The locals don't like the idea of Westerners climbing their sacred mat mountain, but who gives a crap? Ugh. No wonder the goddess is pissed. Okay, let's try this again. I can't save. I think I can save.
safe. Is this another thing where I have to find a sealed door? Actually, I think I'll stop here for the night and I will continue again at nine o'clock and see if we can find that dude. Hopefully he's a little bit nicer than the last ones have been. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday and I will speak to you all again real soon. Have a great day and good night. Bye.